Uh, when I think about Gross Mount, Rhode Island, two words come to mind, optimism and integrity. And I think those two qualities, the sort of organizational culture, are their secret sauce for success. They are such boosters of Rhode Island, and you know that their policy positions are taken from a well-founded and well-researched basis. They are the antidote towards the cynicism that can otherwise take over the state. So Grow Smart Rhode Island is very committed to revitalizing Rhode Island's main streets and downtowns, protecting our special places, including our forests and farms, strengthening our public transportation system, and overall tapping into the strengths and the incredible potential of this magical place we call Rhode Island. So over time, uh, when Socket had an awful lot of vacancy, we, we were at 50% vacancy in, in the downtown area and now we're down to 18%, and Grow Smart really has promoted a lot of the great things that Woonsocket has done over the past couple years. It's really essential that we have historic tax credits. A lot of the buildings in Woonsocket are historic, are well over 100 years old, and they really need that, that money to come in to really make these projects work for the developers, because no developer's gonna come in and lose money on a project. So we need the historic tax credits, and Grow Smart has been an incredible partner to, to champion that. Uh, in 2002, uh, through Grow Smart's leadership, the state established the State Historic Tax Credit Program. This is the most important economic development program Rhode Island has ever had. In the 20 years since it was founded, more than a billion dollars of investments in our historic infrastructure has been made by private developers. There are so many benefits to the State Historic Tax Credit Program. Downtown and Main Street revitalization, expanded housing opportunities, both affordable and market rate, cleanup of contaminated sites on which many of these historic buildings sit, improved fiscal posture of, of the municipalities in which these historic buildings uh, get rehabbed and therefore increase in value. The efforts around the historic tax credit has meant a lot to um, affordable housing projects. It's meant a lot to retaining the historic culture of our state. Um, and it's meant a lot also to having the state have a process to engage and involve themselves in projects that allow groups like mine to leverage other dollars across the state and also nationally. It really is our, our duty, I think, to figure out the best way to make this state even more magical and more special uh, and, and to enhance the opportunities of people living in this state to enjoy our assets and to achieve their full economic potential as well.